Hey everyone, today I'm actually going to go over an application called Folder Organizer. It was actually by request of a viewer that I go over some of the aspects of this application. They thought that it would come in handy when we're doing our Android hubs or for that matter any Android device that you want to go ahead and use this application on. So we're going to go into the applications and we'll go to Folder Organizer which is right here. And this is pretty much the interface that you will go ahead and see when you first start uh, folder organizer it may look a little bit um, different as far as over here because I've added some labels and everything uh, to the device. Now, if you actually happen to have a device that's running Gingerbread and even Froyo, um, we'll go ahead and start off by taking a look at the Froyo or gingerbread version of this application. You'll see here it has labels, search applications, bookmarks, contacts, and shortcuts. Now we're going to go ahead and start off um, with applications and you can do the same thing for your bookmarks and shortcuts and things like that. But right now it's showing the application and it has a running list of all the applications that are currently uh, installed on your device. And what this will actually go ahead and do is organize each of your application into specific folders with labels that you can go ahead and customize yourself. So say for instance we're going to go with music that we're going to organize and you'll see a number of labels of folders that you can go ahead and put your music application in. Now one of the labels or folders that we will put this in is probably multimedia so we will go ahead and put a check mark right next to there but the obvious label is missing which is music because you can have several applications associated with music on your device so to go ahead and get it to have a music folder we would go ahead and press this plus button right down here and then once we get that label name to come up, we can go ahead and type in the name of the label of the folder that we want to include this music application in. So of course, we're going to go ahead and put music as the label that we want to put our Google Music application in. And we will press OK. And as you can see up at the top, it'll go ahead and automatically put it at the top for now. It will go ahead and alphabetize it little, a little later on. But that's all already checked. And as you can see, we put it in multimedia. We will press OK. And if you look at the music, you see there that it says multimedia and music. So once we go ahead and at that point once you've organized all of your applications then we're going to go ahead and put a widget or icon on your screen and how we do that of course is we go to long press and then widgets and then we go down to where we can put and as you can see there's several of them on this version we can put those onto our home screens. Now the first one right up here is actually a link. It'll put one icon on this home screen and when you press that icon it will open up to show all the applications that you've placed in that folder. You can also go ahead and put a, a item which actually only puts one icon and one item on the screen and I haven't really found a good use for that because we can essentially do, do that by dragging the icon from our app drawer onto the screen so I haven't really used that and the widget the 4x1 all the way to the 4x4 that you see there that will actually put and display your icons on your screen in that folder and it's actually scrollable so if you have more than four icons on in that particular folder you can scroll through that icon and it's resizable as well especially with honeycomb and ice cream sandwich you can go ahead and make that folder appear bigger and you can display a lot more of your icons so let's start off by going ahead and putting a link onto the screen and we'll go ahead and start off let's say with my games and the typical widget span configuration comes up and we just press OK and as you can see here 
here is the icon of my games and if we press on it you'll actually see the games and I just got this Galaxy Player so I don't have many games in there but you can actually see the games that are in here and you can actually change kind of the layout of this folder right here by pressing on this gear button and then we'll go to layout and if we you can go ahead and put a grid with icon and text so it will give not only the icon but the text the name of the application under it as well and then how we have it which is the default the grid with icon and we can also list with the icon and text and we'll try that out press OK and now you can see it has an icon with the name and label right next to it as a list. Now we're going to go ahead and put a folder the 4x1 on the screen and we're going to choose say for instance um, our music that we just went ahead and created and it's four by one It's not going to be much in there but as you can see if I go ahead and move this it's actually put an open folder on your screen and if you wanted to go ahead and change that it has a little icon here and you can go ahead and change different things use a custom theme and things like that so you can go ahead and mess around with that a little bit now you'll see here that the icon of the games actually looks like a Xbox controller and I'll scroll in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better and that wasn't actually the default icon so if you want to change the icon you would press on the icon that was placed there and then go to uh, the little gear button and we're going to actually go to icon and you can see it there icon choose icon and this will give a list and let me go ahead and pull out so you can see that a list of the icon packs that are installed on your device now it doesn't show all of my icon packs I have an ADW glow um, icon pack actually I have four that doesn't show up here but it does show other ones like Colored Stroke, um, the Delhi uh, OS right here, Elegant, and the like. So for now, we're just going to go to Default Icons, which um, Photo Organizer has nicely put for us. And we can go ahead and choose any particular icon that we want here. Say, for instance, if we just wanted to, it to be a star, when we go ahead and exit out of it, you see that the icon has changed. Let me zoom in. There, the icon has changed. So, that's pretty much how you would go ahead and use Folder Organizer on your Gingerbread or Foreo device. Now, let's switch back over to Honeycomb. And again, as I said, you will see this in Honeycomb and probably Ice Cream Sandwich because it was updated for Ice Cream Sandwich. And you would click on Applications and say, for instance, um, our Barnes & Noble Reader. When we click on it, you'll see it come up here as well. That just shows you that that's the application that we're working with. We're going to put that application in different folders. And right now, you'll see that it's already in the Reader folder, but let's say we wanted to put it in another um, folder. We can also add it to, say, for instance, um, communication even though I know it's not communication and we wanted to add it to files and let's say multimedia at that point we would go ahead and press this little button right here and now when you look at Barnes & Noble you'll see that all of those labels or they or this particular application has been added to all these different folders the card games the communication files, multimedia, and readers. And of course, in the same vein, we will go ahead and add a widget to the screen. Now in Honeycomb and Froyo, excuse me, we don't need that one. In Honeycomb and Froyo, it doesn't have, let me go ahead and 
the acer is really sensitive so if i barely touch something it'll go ahead and uh bring it up but in here you see we only have the three links there and that's because honeycomb and ice cream sandwich actually have resizable widgets so it doesn't really need to go ahead and place the 4x1, 4x2, 4x3, 4x4 in here because we can resize it to any size that we want so that's pretty much it on photo organizer um, I hope the viewer that wanted me to go ahead and discuss this um, is satisfied with this application and if it helps you out go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe because if you subscribe you'll actually get a glorious notification usually that I have uploaded a new video and you can come and see something that I've run across or uh, an application that I might be uh, reviewing or going over something that can go ahead and help you. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and put those down in the comment section. And of course, I will address them as soon as I can. And until then, you all take care.